Hello all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you all how to create your own maze game using MIT App Inventor. So let's get started. First, let me show you the output of this maze game. Uh, initially, you can see I've added multiple obstacles inside this maze. The ball component is placed at the topmost part of the screen. According to the user's tilt, the ball component moves left and right. Okay, when it touches the obstacle, you can see the ball component is moving again to the topmost starting part. Now I'm trying to avoid the obstacles. By carefully tilting the device, I have now managed to move the ball component and then make it fall into the hoop trap and as soon as the ball falls into the hoop you can see a notifier component is getting popped up and inside this I'm gonna choose the option called yes so there are two different options S and quit if the user presses the quit button uh, automatically the application would be closed if the user go for continuation that means if he clicks on the S button uh, then uh, it will open another screen uh, where you can level up the game you can continue this by creating your own different ways. For this, I'm going to open my MIT App Inventor website and then click on Start New Project. Rename the project as The Maze Game. And then click on OK button. Remember, you should not leave any spaces in between each words while creating a project. All right, we got the screen. So I'm gonna be creating a maze based on this image. So let me explain the designer part first. So first I'm gonna be adding some obstacles on the screen inside a canvas. So for this I've added one, two and three vertical walls, one, two, three, three horizontal walls inside the canvas, uh, a black square as an obstacle. Along with that I've added a ball component and then that ball component needs to be put uh, right into this particular maze, uh, sorry, right inside this hoop image. Basically the user needs to tilt his uh, mobile screen in order to move the ball from the starting position without hitting the obstacles the ball needs to fall inside this hoop so as soon as the ball touches the hoop uh, then a you did it image will be replacing this maze hoop image all right so with this we will start off this designing part so first I'm gonna be adding a canvas component uh, for this we can go to drawing and animation drag and drop canvas so height wise I'm gonna give 80% I want my canvas to occupy 80% of the entire screen and width to be full parent so I'm leaving the remaining 20% for your own creativity so if you want you can even add a timer component or scores uh, pretty much everything that you like uh, so I'm gonna leave it up to you and then uh, inside this canvas I'm gonna give a sporty look for that I'm gonna add a background color of green and uh, I think that's it then we will move on to the obstacles basically so for all the obstacles I've already created uh, some using MS paint so all these media files I will be uploading it in my Google Drive and then uh, that link will be provided in the description uh, so I'm gonna be uploading the media files now so one by one I'm going to upload all the images that are required All right, so let me show you the images. So for you did it, this is like an, uh, an achievement image. Once the user uh, makes the ball fall into the hoop, this image will be added as an achievement symbol at the end. And then we have a vertical wall. So yeah, you could see some blocks, right? A black block here, which is gonna be used as a vertical wall, a, a maze hoop, 
so this is nothing but a simple basketball hoop uh, with remote background of course and I have this horizontal wall so remember you can see here the difference between the horizontal wall and vertical wall right for horizontal wall uh, the height is uh, there is no height value height will be very much less in horizontal wall whereas width is maximum uh, the vice versa is applicable for the vertical wall for vertical wall we have a height value and then width value is very much less and then I have a black square image all right so let's move on to the programming part uh, so first I'm gonna be designing the maze as I mentioned I'm gonna be using uh, this particular uh, maze as a reference and design the entire canvas so first let me add the horizontal wall so for this I'm gonna make use of this image sprite component so you could see here right on the image the horizontal wall is placed at this particular position I'm gonna be placing it in a similar way so drag and drop an image sprite then rename it as horizontal wall 1 and then first we need to adjust the height and width of this horizontal wall so height is going to be as I mentioned height is very much small in in horizontal wall so I'm gonna go with 20 pixels of height and change the width to 200 pixels okay you could see this uh, highlighted rectangle right this is what our horizontal wall is gonna occupy inside the canvas so for this upload the picture of horizontal wall dot jpg and then click on ok uh, we can add uh, another horizontal wall so drag and drop another image sprite rename it as horizontal wall 2 then click on ok upload the picture uh, first change its height and width height is 20 pixels and width is 200 pixels so remember this pixel value is not uh, applicable for all the different screen resolution of the different mobile phones right so this particular pixel value we are using it just for the designing purpose so when we go to the block section we will be changing the values in percentage so that uh, it will be applicable to almost all the screen resolutions that are available alright so now I have added horizontal wall too then again I'm gonna add another horizontal wall and rename it as horizontal wall 3 height 20 pixels width 200 pixels and then upload the image all right so now uh, we are going to add the vertical walls for that drag and drop an image sprite component and place it at the top left corner of inside the canvas rename it as vertical wall 2 vertical wall 1 sorry vertical wall 1 and so for vertical wall we need the height to be uh, long so 200 pixels of height and width as 20 pixels all right and then upload the picture of vertical wall dot jpg great so now we're gonna add the second vertical wall over here that is touching the uh, second horizontal wall component um, rename it as vertical wall 2 height 200 pixels and width as 20 pixels upload the picture of vertical wall and then adjust it accordingly okay so now don't worry about the misalignment happening inside the canvas because anyhow we're gonna be changing the position and the size everything uh, matching the different screen resolution using the different percentage values in the block section so let us now go forward with whatever we have and now in, it's time for us to add the vertical wall 3 so drag and drop another image sprite rename it as vertical wall 3 height as 200 pixels 
width as 20 pixels and then upload the picture of vertical wall.jpg great so now we need to add one obstacle here so for this I'm gonna be making use of the black square so add one more image sprite and rename it as black square for this I'm gonna be upload the I'm going to be uploading the picture of black square or jpg and arrange it properly okay so this is my way of arranging the maze if you want you can rearrange the walls and obstacle as you wish and then proceed so I'm going to be adding a ball component first so drag and drop a ball component and place it in between vertical wall 1 and horizontal wall 1 we don't need to rename it because only one ball component is going to be used and if you want you can change the color change its appearance so first I'm going to be incrementing the size as the ball seems too small for uh, for this maze game I'm going to be increasing the radius so a ball component is nothing but a two dimensional circle so in order to increment its size we need to change the radius so instead of 5 I'm gonna go with 10 you can increase or decrease as per your wish and then change the paint color uh, to some to give it some basketball like appearance I'm gonna go with orange if you want you can customize it to a bit uh, darker version uh, darker variant of orange alright and then um, yeah we need to be adding the hoop image uh, so again on image sprite component place it at the bottom right corner rename it as hoop or maze hoop whatever name you like and for this uh, let the height and width be 100 pixels and then upload the picture of maze hoop dot png alright then adjust it accordingly and now I'm gonna be adding one more image sprite when the ball falls into the hoop I want to display the you did it right so rename this image sprite component as you did it again following the same step like width of height of 100 pixels and width of 100 pixels and upload the picture of jpg amazing so uh, next the next step is we need to add one sensor component in order to uh, you know sense the tilt of the device so according to the user's tilt the ball component must move inside the canvas or inside the mobile screen so for this we're gonna be uh, going under sensors of palette section drag and drop this accelerometer sensor and drop it inside the viewer screen so it is a non-visible component obviously it would be added below the mobile screen and we don't need to uh, uh, change any properties here now let us add if you want you can remove the enable because because I don't want my accelerator sensor to be enabled all the time so while playing the game I may want to disable it at some point right so just check uh, uncheck this enable box and then I need one more component to display uh, user the message like he won the game or if he wants to quit the game or the user wants to play again for that obviously I need a notifier component in order to get input from the user so for this I'm gonna be going under um, user interface and drag and drop the notifier component so it is again a non-visible component so with this we have completed the designer window now we will move on to the block section to program this entire maze game 